about to leave seven. it down the cushion. But we know with his cue action, no problem about getting back onto the pink. Well. No century for his seven, but he friend. did what was needed. Well, he did make a century, 107, and he gets himself 2 1 in front. Sean Murphy clearly in good nick, and he actually knocked in an 82 en route to a 4-2 advantage. Uh, we're going to join them again in frame seven early on. It's not a straightforward escape shot here. I think there is a gap in the one to the right and behind the pink. You can go back down the table off that one. Played it well, as long as he doesn't hit the green. Now, I wonder, does that black pot? He's coming around the table to see if he could get on the black, because there's a red into it. You see where he's got the tip of his cue? If he could pot the red, leave the white there. As you can clearly see, the black would be available, but he'd have to pot it, because he would stick Sean right in amongst them. Well, this, in the context of the match, is a huge shot, because it, if he knocks this in, there's a very good chance for 4-3. If he misses it, there's a very good chance for 5-2. Now, Martin, you need a little bit of luck here. You're going to need Sean to miss one for you. He may have to take one into the middle pocket because he didn't get the cue ball where he wanted had he have potted that red, he wouldn't have finished on the black. But this should be pretty comfortable. Well, and the chance is certainly there. There was a lot riding on that last shot that Martin Gould took on, as John said. He just had to get this one. It's not bad. He's got the one in the middle pocket and he can Six. get on the black. He'd come around just to make sure, but we know from the picture we showed you previously that the black certainly is on. advantage of that of course leaving the cue ball a little low as that red immediately above the black spot will be moved now so all the while he's developing the reds into better positions a little awkward he may have to go back for that red into the middle pocket he's hampered with the pink 22 23 but not a problem yes got himself back into Positive mode here. Start of this frame, he missed a couple of shots by a long way. Looks like he was a little bit shaky from the frame before, but recovered well here. Third. Yeah, you can get 31. nights like that, um, matches where you long potting's off, but once you get in amongst the 
pink and black, there's not really a problem. Simply because you're not having to force anything. And it's all pretty close control. 38. 39. Yeah, that's the thing to do when and dad get right back up off the shot. It's a bit like a golf shot. If you haven't made your mind up and you carry on with the shot, you usually make a mess of it. Just get back up and start again. Just working out what he needs to leave Martin needing a snooker. 47. Those three reds on the right side of the table are not too badly placed. 47. Gets a good angle on the black when potting this. He can just leave the white in the middle 50. of those three reds and he a few options available. Well, it's 55. just about perfect. You can drop this black in. And if he can avoid the cannon, it'd be better. He'd just finish in the middle of the three reds. Well, he stunned it in. Obviously, he hadn't got the angle to drop in between them, but he's 60 ahead, so he only needs this one 62. red. Well, we said at the start of this break, Dennis, didn't we? That was a massive red that Martin Gould was taking on.